so it's day 65. I think I trying to remember. I got what do I got? Oops, shit, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, Marauder chassis, right? I had the I had the Marauder crafting, is what I did. Anyway, so I got a Marauder on the on the move. I figure ah, uh, there's a wandering horde. Well, I mean, sure, why not? Uh, at least I think this is a wandering horde. Oh, that's a demon. Can I get them? Where are they? Where's the demon? Right there. Shoot, not loaded. That's my bad. I I think I just got back here from Horde Night too. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? So it's been a little while since I recorded. So, like I knew that had happened. I, I should have gone back and started recording again right at the top. But it was late that night when I finished and... I don't see any more demons. Yeah, that was a normal guy. Alright, let's get down here and deal with these guys. We're going to go to the, the uh, main research lab again today. Ooh. Not there. Right there. Oh, screw off. Thank goodness those, those guys don't hit very hard. Take him down. Take you down. Bring you back here. Crossfire. Nice. So we're gonna go down to the research bunker today. We gotta get the, uh, the, uh, what's it called? Workbench, laser workbench. So I got the materials on me to do that. Now I'm hoping we don't run into an issue. I mean, I think all the screamer stuff down there should be gone. Oh, that's not bad. All the screamer stuff should be gone down there. And then probably what we'll do, like I wanna try and end this series on day 70 or with 70 episodes since we missed the past one. Uh, I'll probably go a little longer than that day-wise, but episode-wise I'll probably go to 70. Somebody else around here. So I do want to get this place done too, so I might spend time, like a couple of like, in-game days or something. Yeah, see, it's just, I don't understand why or how they get caught under here. Come on out of there, buddy. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, see, should took damage before I even swung at her. I don't have the skill that does extra damage or whatever. Uh, let's go eight. Wait, that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm bringing some concrete bricks with me. Did that go to twelve? It did. Bringing some concrete bricks with me just in case we need to like build some kind of defense to get out of there. I think we'll be fine though. Um, so let's go ahead and read this first. Scavenger Mastery Book. Let's get that done. Nice. I'm going to scrap you. Uh, I'm going to put this stuff inside before we go. Just hang on one sec. Well, let's handle this guy first. All right, so that's all put away. Let's grab a little extra shotgun ammo. I did get hit, though. I should probably heal up. Um, who, do we have any more 762? We do. We've got some shotgun ammo here, I think. Yeah, we should be maxed out on ammo. I think I was making more. Mm, where are we here? Use one of these guys. I think I was making more dart ammo. Maybe not. I think we're good though. All right, let's just go. All right, down to the wasteland, and then uh, hopefully we can come back real quick here. All right, so two things I want to do when we're out here. One, I want to see if we can find plutonium. I think we've got 
uranium. We need plutonium. Uh, where are we going? It's Mark Rescue from Hell. So I'm going to go along here. Ah, oh, maybe we'll go through the wasteland. I don't know. Let's go through the wasteland and see if we can actually find something now. The truck's taking a lot of damage here. I have to be careful, I guess. I didn't bring repair kits, so, I mean, we may have to foot it back. We'll see. I didn't bring gas either, which is, could be a problem. I was going to wait for the Marauder to be built, but then... When I realized part of the episode got destroyed, I thought, well, fuck it, we'll go down. Oh, we passed it. So right there, of course, right beside a portal. Well, we might get lucky and nobody might spawn, or somebody might spawn, we'll have to deal with them. Let's deal with these guys first, though. Hey, Mr. Cop Air. Problem is, is that that portal starts spawning stuff, it's going to come right at us, right? Barrel sense still on. Like every, all my settings are still the same. Haven't changed anything. Ow! Should not be grabbing loot when there's still zombies around. My God, they're still coming. I don't know why I'm surprised though. It's the same as in a city. It's always the late stragglers that show up. Alright, now you should be. Yeah. Plutonium. Perfect. So let's mark that on the map. So don't forget. Let me get down here. Yeah, I should put my turrets down. Let's stop messing around. Something like that. Oh god, okay. Another fun day in the wasteland. Well, at least the one good thing about being here now, at least we know the uh, wandering horde is gone. Ooh, looks like there's... Titanium and uranium? No, that's the... Uh, yeah, titanium as well. Cool, because we could use some... I was actually going to go stop and grab some more of that, but... I'll grab it while I'm here. You know, I'll say it, I've said it multiple times, but I'll say it again. Being in the wasteland of Darkness Falls isn't too bad, right? Yeah, there's a lot of scary stuff here, but generally you've put in your time. You've got the gear. You've come here with proper... Um, stuff like ammo and all that kind of stuff so you should be okay it's just when you've got feral sense on it's like it, then it's a wild card you never know how bad it could possibly get when you're here right you could get lucky no demons could spawn you know and everything is fine or you could get completely unlucky and, you know, a gate spawns a bunch of demons, or behemoths, or god knows what else, an incubus shows up, or you get caught with a wandering horde. In general, wandering hordes aren't too bad. If they don't hear you, they go right by you, but with Feral Sense on, they just pile on you. So, I mean, it all comes down to that. And then god forbid you call in a screamer horde. And I'm not the best player in the world, like I'm okay. So I could probably handle it, but if you're a new player to Darkness Falls, man, it could be terrifying. Definitely have the junk turrets and use them all the time. I think that's really a no-brainer, you know? 
I don't think I need too much more of this. I think if I was going to be fighting bigger hordes, I'd stay and get more plutonium, but I think I'm probably good for the moment. If I need to come back and get more, I'll do that. No zombies showed up when I was down there, which is nice. Alright, let's get to that research bunker. Now, I know it's saying that we haven't done it. Uh, I think it's because I didn't turn the quest into Anna. Now, at this stage, Darkness Falls basically ends with that, with this quest. The final quests aren't written, so technically I finished the built-in game. So I don't feel bad about actually not doing this friggin' like resetting the bunker and doing it all over again. Maybe I'll come down a little later, try it again. But I don't think I'll do it. I'm, I'm, I'm probably not going to do it in this series. We've already done it once. Wow. My game just lagged so hard I thought I was falling through the world. Holy shit, there's a lot of portals here. I think we'll have enough gas to get out of here. Now, we never did clear the zombies on the top of the research facility here. So they're probably still there. Is that it right there? I think that's it right there. Is it? Yeah. Now, there's a, I know there's a bunch of safes and stuff in there. I'm not interested in any of that stuff. Just get in here. Who are you? Alright. Should be able to lead them around away from that hatch. Uh, actually, let's just close this just in case. Oh, man. Can we get in there? I guess not. Let's break through this door. I don't think there was anything I didn't get out of here. Yeah, nothing really here. Let's just focus on what we need to do and get out of here. Alright, now. Yeah, we're still ending up with that glitch. The drawing glitch. I don't know. It's my graphics card. I mean, wish it was better, but it's not. I don't know. So here's the thing. I know there's a... Usually down in that room, there's radiated behemoths. Wait, it's not in... Where is the cable? Is it in here? Ooh, where's the laser workbench? I thought it was back in this room, but I didn't see it. There's a fusion forge. Let's just see if there's anybody in here. Yep. Can we close this? They can stay there for all I care. They're going to be at max hit points, so... Let's not trigger them. Uh, where is that laser workbench? Still gonna open all this stuff though. You never know. We might find something good in here. Now, I don't know if those radiated behemoths in the end room there, if they're glitched out or what, but I think they're caught. They get caught, I think. Oh, that's really nice. On the part of the like on parts of the building we should be get able to get out of here no problem too oh it doesn't feel as bad as last time I mean there's no screamer hordes so that's good picked up some more laser pistol we didn't get a lot of stuff out of here Let's got two more lockers all right we got multiple cards now just in case it's 
I thought it was like right here. There's the Fusion Forge. Might as well close this up. That room's done. Now I looted everything out of here before. Did I? Yeah, sorry, I didn't take all the swords and stuff just because. Actually, I'm gonna grab that. Because we need those for... Uh, what do we need those for again? I can't remember. Oh, the, the shots for our... Uh... Let's grab that. The shots for the uh, end game stuff. So that's the Fusion Forge. Where is... Did it get destroyed somewhere in here? Or is it back in one of these side rooms over here? Okay, I don't see it here. We can merge all the stuff now. Actually, I'm going to take that just in case I need it. Yeah, I didn't take... Like, once we get the uh, workbench... Is it on the second floor? Where would it be? Oh, there it is. There. Alright, so we need to put you in here. And then we can go ahead and make... Why can't we make the laser workbench? Uh, what are we missing? Oh, electrical parts. Yeah, I think I decided to not bring those with me. Because I knew we could get them here. All right, we just need one more thing right here. There we go. All right, let's get that crafting. Oops, did not mean to do that. We got a minute and something, so I'm going to go ahead. Find out what's in here first. Ooh, more lockers. Hey, stuff I didn't search. Alright, more stuff. Some duct tape. Crap. Now, question. More red research notes. You got like eight of them. Alright, if I break those... Holy shit, I get 20 for breaking them and 10 for wrenching them? Yeah. What about that? 12... Yeah, that's actually a half decent amount of steel, too. Uh, I'm going to break a few of these before we go. That's not done. Might as well get the resources. Broke a bunch of these things with the pickaxe, but no big deal. I'm like, we can't get electrical parts somewhere else. I'll take it to sell. I think we're done here. There it is. All right, well. Event, well, what, day 65? Took us <laughs> a long time to finally get it, but we got the damn thing. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Actually, how much do I get? Now, if I wrench these, I got 10. If I break them, I get 20. Okay, I'm going to put together a sword... And we'll use it on the uh, Foot Horde Knight. Still planning on doing that. That's the night I actually think I'm going to die. Running the Horde Knight on foot is the night I think I'll die. Have that, because we can merge it now. Yeah, they're down in a hole. We'll take that. They're down in a hole. Yeah, right there. We should be able to just get out of here. Man, we were like down to like no springs for making mods and stuff with. Okay, we're not there. Getting a little chunky here. Yeah, they're down in the hole. See you, fuckers. 
It's a good day to be leaving the wasteland. Wow, that's a nice jump. Okay, so that went a lot smoother than I expected. I thought for sure we'd be running into some pretty nasty stuff in the wasteland, but we did okay. We didn't get any demons or anything. See how we did here. Yep, made out pretty well. Alright, let's get back to the base. Actually, what was Trader Restock Day? I can't remember. Do you know? Uh, he doesn't know. Why would he know? He's dead. Again. I think it's 66, though. I'll sell you goods, but if Will you? you? Me, you'll meet the wrong end of my 44? Why did I know that? I uh, will take all your clay so I don't have to dig it. I don't think we need nitrate, but I will buy your springs. Because uh, I think we burned through a lot of stuff. Actually, I'm going to buy this. I, may, I might make some more gunpowder, so we'll do that. Now, do I need... Uh, no, we restock tomorrow. Did I use Molotovs? I used two. Buy two of those, and we're good. Oh, Let's get out of here. Huh? Nope. Well, to don't want a guarantee. All right, you take care of those guys, and I'm going. So I was trying to think of what I might do for my next series for Darkness Falls. Or not Darkness Falls, but Seven Days to Die. And I think I might do Undead Legacy. I know I mentioned this before, but I want to do a little different. I've been watching uh, Guns, Nerds, and Steel play now. He's got it set up. Like, he's got a custom map, and I plan on doing a custom map as well. Um, but I want to do a little bit more intricate than what he's got, if I can. And the idea will be, like, I'm going to generate a map until I, f until I feel that it's, like, you know, uh, kind of like a really nice layout ground-wise. And then I'm going to change all the terrain um, to make it a little bit more difficult. What I want to try and do is have traders spawn in Old West Towns. I'm not 100% sure if I want it to just be Old West Towns or uh, have them spawn in Country Towns and Old West Towns or just Country Towns. I haven't decided yet. One of the three. And then for the regular towns and for the cities, there's going to be no traders. But what I'm probably going to end up doing is making the downtown parts the wasteland. So whenever you go into a city, it's automatically going to be way more difficult than it would be normally, right? So like I know like cities, like if you're downtown in a city, um, zombies can spawn that are you know more difficult, like cops and spider monkeys and things like that. But what I also want to do is make it so that they... Um, let's do this real quick too before we go home. I'm going to grab a little bit more... Put that there. A little bit more iron before we go. Uh, where's my other jump turret right here? But make it so that the... Um, Thanks for showing up. Make it so that they're really, really dangerous, you know? Uh, that's what I want to attempt to do. And then the idea is that you start like off in like, like, a, like a place that's hard to get gear. Um, and so that the early game takes a lot longer. And the later game will be a lot more difficult because it's all going to be wasteland, right? So the longer you take to get into the wasteland, I get or to the to the end game or whatever, the more difficult it'll be when you get there. Uh, at least that's my thought. I don't know. Like I haven't. Like I don't know a lot about Undead Legacy. I don't know if there's an end game to it or if it's just a different way of playing. Like I know it's a different way of playing, but if that's like all there is, or if there is some kind of you know, like Darkness Falls, where there's like an end game bunker. There might be something like that. I don't know yet. I'll have to go look it up. But if you know, maybe mention it in the comments as well. I, you know, I spend more time playing games than to actually do researching them. <laughs> I should do some re some researching. That's just a regular zombie, right? Don't be a screamer. Uh, if it was a screamer, they're dead. Nope, they're just Big Mama. Anyway, so that's what my thought is. Because I like games like this where you can actually build and do stuff. Um, where there's lots to do. 
Undead Legacy seems that way. There's like a lot of stuff to do. There's like a lot of workstations. You know, it gives you reasons to constantly be looting rather than I'm looting because I need to find stuff to fight the horde. Or I'm looting because I need stuff to, you know, build my um, horde base, right? I get that. That's part of this game. But also having something else to do other than just that because it can get, you know, I'm sure you guys know, it can get monotonous after a while if that's all you're doing. Whereas like kind of Darkness Falls has got that storyline, gives you reasons to be doing stuff, right? You got to be looking for hazmat because in order to finish the story, you got to go to the wasteland. You're going to need hazmat gear. So, like I don't know if I don't know if Undead Legacy kind of gives you that, but it feels like like even if it doesn't have that type of end game, I can create something, right? All right, she's dead. That was a screamer, but she's gone. Yeah, all right, how much did I pick up? Not a whole lot. Oh, three, yeah. She came right on time, just a little over three stacks, and she showed up. So that's been my average, I find, with screamers. They show up. You know, just a little over three stacks of iron in digging if you're if you're stealthing, right? Like I always stealth when I mine, partially because I don't like the noise, but partially because it's uh, drops the heat. So three stacks, and then the, the screamer will show up. So it's kind of a good uh, measure. We got to clean this yard up. I mean, look at this place. Uh, I know I'm hungry. All right, let's get inside. So that's probably a leftover bird from the Wandering Horde. I don't know why it's wanting a piece of me though. I don't know, but apparently the neighbors are all showing up now. I'm home everybody. Alright, let's just chop this up. Now, what do we got in here? A bunch of eggs. I mean, we're doing really well for eggs. So I'm not super concerned about this. But I do want to turn this into a house before this series is over. So we're going to do that. Um, so we've got a few things that I want to do now that i got the laser workbench. Technically, this is series is easy now. Because uh, we'll be able to merge everything up to level 80. So where is the laser workbench? Where are you? There you are. Just gonna put it right there for now. We'll get this sorted shortly, but uh, okay, get you put in there. So we got the multi tool. So now we can just like merge the snot out of this stuff. Let's just grab the biggest ones first. There we go, 62. And we'll be able to do this with all of our gear. Okay, so just those multi tools we got it to 74. That's not even mine here. Let's modify you. Take that out. This should give it probably three levels. 74 to 77 with this one. 78, close enough. I got more I can add. I'm not going to do that right now, though. Alright, so let's go down and make this place quiet so I can actually focus on what I need to do up here. Let's do it quickly. I'll just leave that. I'll leave them to... Ah, uh, shit, you're going to drop... Stuff for me, aren't you? A cap. I came down here for a cap and what? And some shotgun rounds, sure. Coil rounds, all right, well, still not worth it. There was one more idiot, not, not you. I mean, yeah, you're an idiot, but I think it was just you. Nope. That should be it in theory. Oh, for Christ's sake. Well, long as you're bringing me stuff. 
All right, so uh, that being done, let's have a look into what do we need in here to make the... Um, we need you guys so we can make five shots. Do I have five? I didn't. Okay, we need those guys. Actually, let me just get this stuff put away real quick. Okay, now let's have a look here. So, recipes. So, there's the Gotta Go Fast shot, which I think we'll probably need a couple of those. We need grain alcohol for those. And the same for these guys. Physical conditioning. So, I'm thinking that we probably do... Got five right there. Um, okay, so we've got enough pages right now to get... Uh, where are you here? Oh, we've already got it at five out of five. So, I can't get any more of this. So, physical conditioning... Gives us player health and stamina regen, which I think we're going to need for running around. The stamina regen, not so much, but we might. I might do three of these guys, and then two of these guys. Mobility well, six percent. Maybe we go. I mean, I could go all five. You know what? Because if I'm running faster, then I can just heal myself while I'm, while I'm running. Right. So maybe we just go all five in here. So, I need to make five of those guys. So we do recipes. Gotta go fast. Let's just do five of those. Sure. I'm interested to see how fast that really is. I think it'll probably be half decent speed. Uh, let's just use one of these guys real quick. Because we're at pretty good mobility right now. So shot, pork and shotgun is out. So if we look at our... Well, just, just to show you that I'm not after the last horde. We killed a lot of zombies the last horde. But, uh, well, we didn't kill that much. I, basically, I closed the doors and that was the end of it. They just came to the door. I finished them off. Screamer horde in the morning. But uh, we still got zero deaths. Um, so we should be able to do this. So we've got mobility-wise, we're at what now? Ooh, because I think we have the power armor leg. I can actually make power armor now, too. Which I'm interested to see what that'll take. So where's my mobility? Is it here? Mobility, 98%. Plus 10% for the shotgun being out. And 5 with the letter goggles. So this should give us... I think we just use these, right? Can we use them from here? Yep. So that should give us... Yeah, here we go. Alright, uh, so let's just use them all. There we go. That should give us five now, right? Yep, perfect. Okay, so do we have... I'm pretty sure I finished off parkour already. Did I not? Because I was jumping pretty high there a while back. If I haven't finished it off, then I'm pretty close. 5 out of 5 for parkour. Okay. I don't know. It doesn't feel that much faster. So you can see how this is going to give us a massive advantage. When we were actually facing the... Uh, Horde on foot. It's really the only way you can do it and survive, I think. It's pretty much the only way you can do it and survive. So that's pretty good. We got two skill points too. Now I don't think there's anything I want to add it to. Yeah, so we're at 113. So it did add the speed. But it almost feels like it's being... Like the shotgun and the letter jacket aren't being used. I mean, I can't go back now and check. So this is with the shotgun off. Yeah, I mean, you know what it is, though? It's 10% based on what your, your speed is. So it basically gives you... Is it diminishing returns? I wouldn't be diminishing returns, but still, it feels like it is. It's not just adding 10%. Unless I'm wrong. 
I don't know. I mean, I think that's probably fast enough to face the horde on foot. I think we'll do that one first, just to see if I can do it, and then we'll crank the difficult. Like we'll crank up the number of zombies just to see how much of a punishment that my main base can take. But I think I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm going to go inside. We'll make some steel uh, with the iron we picked up. Get things sorted. I think the next episode will probably be me rebuilding this base. I'm probably going to just turn the... Uh, I might turn Feral Sense off to just work on the base so that we're not constantly interrupted. We'll just get... See, that's why I don't like this. I have to kind of crouch to jump up there and then I fall... I gotta, I'm not going to break my leg now, but I still don't like parkour. I know a lot of people use it and a lot of players love it because you can get away from zombies really easily, but I haven't had that issue, so I just don't use it. Like, And now that I'm using it, it's just, I gotta get used to it, I guess. That plus I'm moving awfully fast. I mean, for that matter, I might want to turn, like take my, uh, ex my mobility goggles off and put on the XP goggles or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here, people, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. When we come back next time, it'll be day 65, and I'm going to start working on this place. Like I said, I think I'll just turn off Feral Sense, turn the horde off for now. Um, and then, yeah, we'll build this place up, make it look nice. Going to get the farm up and running. I think we're probably going to need more of this stuff. Oh, there we go. We lost a little bit of ammo, I think. Oh, maybe not. I think we got it all. But yeah, I'll get the base up and running, and then we'll face like we'll do the horde on foot. And then um, so once the space is nice, we'll do a horde on foot. I haven't decided which city that's gonna be in yet. I gotta stay away from the ones with the downtown. So Jen City will, will most likely be off limits. That'll most likely be off limits. This town is I think it's a little too small. The desert town is a bit too small. I mean, maybe we do it in the wasteland. How big was that town in the wasteland? There's got to be another one out here, though. Yeah, that's not big enough. Because this goes somewhere down here. So we could do it in, either in the in the wasteland... ...or the snow biome, which we never really inspected a lot of. We got Huggy Bear down here. Oops, let's do... Uh, sorry this guy so maybe we do that we take a drive like this road I think connects to there but this one goes off down there maybe we can jump into the wasteland again go through the wasteland and then see if there's a city down here we can do the horde on foot and maybe we turn the night up too so maybe we make it like so rather than being like a 15 minute horde which it would normally be I'll just do the whole episode and we'll make it I don't know like we'll put the horde at half an hour or something like I, like I said I'm fully expecting to die but trying to survive like in the wasteland in a town when feral sense is on during a horde should be fun I think it should be like oh there's a trader right there too that's probably in the wasteland, so we'll probably have to go check that out. So we'll do that. We'll go down there and check that out tomorrow. Uh, what am I doing tomorrow? Now we're going to build tomorrow. And then when we're ready to do the horde on foot, we'll go drive around, try and find the best place to do it. And then um, we'll do the horde on foot. And then the last episode will be the, the base to see if it can actually withstand. I mean, maybe I'll... I don't know. I, I'm up in the air whether or not I want to make it a 64 or... If I make it a 64 horde, i got to leave the doors closed because there's no way my frame rate's going to handle it. It'll be just see how much can get through. And then... If we do a 32 horde, it'll still be a bit laggy, but I can do a bit of fighting at the window. Because we'll have laser weapons at that point too, right? So... And I don't think we got all that much ammo. We got almost two grand we got over two grand here and I could probably make a bit more so we could use laser weapons at the window for a bit anyway mm, let me think about it anyway tonight I'm going to get a whole bunch of stuff merged we'll figure that out and then tomorrow when we come back we're going to do some building 
All right, so I'm ending the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.